Bienvenue mademoiselle NC c'est deuxième channel ouais and jeudi a nous te gagne un petit problème OK so we had some technical difficulties the whole beginning of this video got cut but not too much not too much so basically all that really got cut out was basically the introduction to this video so long story short i did live on jefferson park my entire life which is an elizabeth most Haitians know about jefferson park even if you're not from new jersey and the thing is i lived in this building it was called 471 if you guys know you know if you don't you know but it's not really that important and this building was known for a lot of voodoo activity a lot of gang activity like when i'm telling you bad like i'm talking about like bad and also keep in mind like these buildings are not necessarily considered the projects but they are the hood okay understand the projects and the hood is not the same thing um the projects are completely different because most of the time that is government funded you have to apply to be there these are regular apartments anyone could get into there but it's predominantly haitian predominantly black predominantly hispanic mainly haitian because it's a haitian neighborhood there's some people that do have government assistance that live there but it's not necessarily the projects right but at this point the way it's set up and the way they was running these streets it was bad and from what i understand when i got there like when i was growing up apparently this was like the good time this is when it was just dumbing down it wasn't even like the pinnacle of how bad it was i remember like my man grew up in the same area and he told me he used to be worse when he was growing up he's about four years older than me um i've met people that are, are like in their late 30s 40s 50s and they're like man what you went through was a cakewalk and i'm like i had to apply pressures on people's gunshot wounds at like nine how is that a cakewalk like mbako point like i'm seeing all types of stuff as you guys are gonna hear in this video like how is that a cakewalk mbako point like so crazy if all the stuff that i went through was a cakewalk you can only imagine i remember those one time my mom told me like she was coming from work um my dad went to go pick her up and literally all the roads by that building and just on that street area were blocked because like a kid had got shot or whatever and, and died i still to this day can't figure out what kid that was because this is way beyond like any kid i would know because i was literally like four or five at the time but like that's how bad you know this area was so just had to give that quick premise because like i said the video did get cut out so if that was the good, I'm scared to know what was going on maybe 10 years prior before I was born because that's some crazy ass shit. The park, the neighborhood, that building in particular had developed a very notorious reputation. Literally people who didn't even live in my area knew about 471. It was the drugs, it was the prostitution, it was the killing, the violence, the neglect, all of it. But most importantly, it was the voodoo. You guys are like, the voodoo? The voodoo. Keep in mind when I do tell these stories, I'm going to have to change up a couple details, mask a couple identities and stuff like that because you know, you gotta move some things around, feel me? Some things I really shouldn't be saying. It's absolutely no secret that voodoo is a very strong part of Haiti's culture. Some of us embrace it, while some of us think that it is demonic and that is why Haiti is cursed, blah, blah, blah. I've actually made so many videos about this, we can link that down below because we're not gonna talk about that too much in this video. But understand, voodoo is a part of life it's part of the culture it is a religion it is a lifestyle it is all those things and it's heavily embedded into everything we do literally from food to religion to dance to music you can't escape it if you're haitian i don't give a fuck how religious you think you are if you're haitian you'll more than likely dibble and dabbled in something regarding to voodoo one way or another and there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day it is our culture the only reason a lot of people People think that it is demonic is because the white people told us it's demonic the white people told us it's bad the white people told us that these nigger jigger juggle hugger nigger boobs should not be out here serving their god we need to serve the bible and serve christianity and whatever the fuck else they tried to get us to serve okay but understand there's different ways of living there's different ways of life and most importantly people who practice haitian voodoo also do believe in god a lot of people have very 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 ridiculous misconceptions about the haitian voodoo religion and just refuse to do their own research, refuse to ask people around them about what they truly follow, which leads a lot of people to practice in secret and do a lot of nefarious things and act out of anger. And I feel like that's where a lot of problems arise. There are so many cases that you can find online about like Haitian voodoo being involved and you know, Haitian this and Haitians did that. And it's crazy because a lot of things could be avoided if people would just fucking do their research and stop running their mouth and talking out their ass. I would be mad too if I was serving a law, if I was serving 
doing something and people out here just fucking saying bullshit. Like, no, fuck that. I'm gonna send my water to eat your ass. That might sound crazy, but oh, fuck it well. I'm just tired of it. You know, it's really not that hard. Like, people literally will come in my comment section and act like they know what the fuck they're saying and it's like, it's not that hard to use common sense. It's not that hard to just go ask somebody and it's also not that hard to just open your mind. Also, we need to understand Christianity is not the only way of life. There's Judaism, okay? There's other types of religions out there that people follow. Christianity is not the only path to some type of salvation. You may think that that's fine and dandy, but be open to other people's beliefs. Be open to the fact that you are not always right, okay? And just because Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, that's great, that's cool and all, but that doesn't mean you have to push it onto other people. Same thing with my voodoo people. Not everybody is going to be out here trying to serve law. Quite frankly, a lot of people don't give a fuck. Just respect everybody's beliefs, right? Now, I've mentioned this numerous times before. I was raised Catholic, born Catholic, baptized Catholic. My mom was a devout Catholic. My dad is an atheist. My mom wanted me to be in the Catholic church. As a child, I was in the Catholic church for a good amount of time. After my communion, I kind of just stopped because I was kind of turned off from the whole thing for various different reasons. And I started going to Christian churches for a very good long part of my life. I'm very surprised my mom let me do that. Maybe it was because she wanted me to have religious freedom and I feel like my mom just really cared about me having God in my life as a whole. I feel like she just cared about me having a religious figure, you know, just being out of trouble and just, you know, being full of the Holy Spirit, so to speak. My dad, I don't think he cared at all. He was just like, whatever, church or church. And he says that, you know, Christian churches are better than Catholic churches anyway, so that's always been a thing. That when it came to Haitian voodoo, my first experience with it and hearing about it at all was actually in Christian churches. They would always be like, oh, you're Catholic, we need to save you from those demons. Do you know they're connected to Haitian voodoo? Those are the, that, that, that's horrible. Oh my God, we feel so bad for you. And it's like, what's voodoo and what's so bad about it? What's the problem? I don't get it. I was always that kid asking questions and clearly no one could ever answer my questions. And if they could answer my questions, it always just sounded like regurgitated bullshit. That's one thing for me as a child and up to now, I could always peep bullshit. I always know when people are speaking sincerely. I always know when people are talking caca. I always know when people are lying. I always know when people are really just literally just, just pumping air. And for me, a lot of these pastors, these sisters, these brothers, these ass kissers and ass lickers, they weren't saying anything that was worth substance to me. I was like, a lot of y'all literally are just regurgitating information that you've been hearing for your entire life and now you want me to believe it and I'm just, yeah. So until you can convince me, otherwise, no. I feel like if people want to serve whatever, they can serve whatever. And you'd be like, no, that's not the way. You have to tell these da da da. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm not I'm not telling anyone to serve anything. Like, I, I really could care less. So when it came to that building, clearly, after church and stuff like that um they would be like oh you know try to get your friends to come to church with us oh try to you know get that and i'm like i'm not i'm not doing all of that because i yeah i really could care less if they come they come if they don't they don't um jesus is the light right um they should go to the light then i came to the light why can't they come to the light like I, that, that was always why like i was i was always a smart ass y'all again that building was horrible since 471 had garnered that reputation of being horrible and honestly the place for all nefarious deeds it started to bring in very very um scary people that just were trying to do really fucked up shit and conceal the fact that they wanted to do fucked up shit have a place to hide because people used to hide pretty well there well i mean the SWAT team was there every other day but they were more so there for the people that wanted to do drugs right so there was this one family that ended up coming over there and oh so there was a family that moved in and this family was interesting it was a man oh well a dad a wife two kids like an aunt a sister, you know how Haitians be with the extended family. It, it, honestly, it could have been his sister wives. We all know. For me, I'm going to my pump. Okay, it was aunt. And um, the family was okay to me, but my family and a lot of the people in the building did not want their kids to associate with the kids of that family. Like a lot of people were like, "Don't stay away from those people." Da -da -da, your fat voodoo. Da -da -da. And the thing is, I'm like, okay, but most of the people in this fucking building do voodoo. What the fuck is the big deal? Like, I, I, the, at this time, at this age, I was like, I don't understand what's the big deal with voodoo that a lot of people are having such an issue with, and a lot of people are scared to tell me. I just. I didn't understand it and the kids were a little bit older than me but like they were old enough to play with so I'm like chill I'm trying to play with these kids okay like I had no siblings and my way of fun and entertainment was to play with the other kids in the building and it's like what the fuck why can't I play with these kids and my parents were like no you're not going over there you're not going in the house and I'm like whatever eventually it got to a point where like those kids just became like a menace to the building they were loud I'm talking about playing ding dong ditch I'm talking about stealing 
shit, screaming, yelling, all like they was just, there was a lot. And the thing is, I did speak about this on my other channel, but my parent, I, maybe I talked about it here. My parents always used to leave me unattended um, in my house. Um, they would just be like, oh, turn on the TV, and we will we'll be back type shit. And th that scarred me for life, because now I do have like legit neglect issues. And to this day, like I usually have to have the TV on or my phone playing a YouTube video in order to feel comfortable. But I was just one kid and I was smart enough to really just stay in the house and put the TV on and never open the doors. These people would leave their kids in the house, mind you, it was two of them, and they were loud, they were mad as shit. Shit didn't end well, okay? So like I said, these people were voodoo practitioners, but they weren't the good type of voodoo practitioners. They were the malicious kind. They were the type of voodoo practitioners that would literally break your neck if you did some bullshit. So long story short, one day they left those kids a couple of days, a lot of times. They would leave those kids unattended in the house while they went to work, while they ran errands, whatever the case may be. Sometimes they would leave them there for a whole weekend. Like they would go to like fucking Boston or some shit and leave the kids in the house. I don't know why they didn't want to take the kids with them. But then again, now that I think about it, those kids was a menace to society. I wouldn't want to take them anywhere either. I'm sorry. That's probably why I'm just like, yeah, I can't do with badass kids. Those kids was bad. But when those kids would be in the house, they wouldn't just sit there and be quiet like they should. They would sit there and again, continue to be a menace to everybody in the building and everybody started getting very tired of it. So they have like these diagonal neighbors that were like kind of tired of them. They would always have conflicts and be arguments back and forth. One thing you never want to do is have beef with somebody who does voodoo in a negative way, who uses black magic whatsoever. Because any little thing, they gonna throw that shit at you. Outwardly says that they do voodoo the bad way and can snap your neck and all this shit. Like they were the type of voodoo practitioners that were doing shit negatively and then was bragging about it. The neighbors would always have issues with them. They would have like verbal disputes, all types of goofy shit. And these niggas was sitting there like, oh, I don't care. My God, my God this, my God, my God that. My God will save me, my God will that, da 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 da. I'm Christian, da da da. This is the thing, right? When it comes to Christians especially, okay? Not Now understand Christian means you believe one God, so technically a lot of people fall under this, but I'm talking about Christians like Baptists and Adventists, whatever. Y'all are so ignorant, it blows my fucking mind. Not only do you guys refuse to do any type of research, but a lot of you guys just seem to believe that if you have God in your life, you're protected. If that was the case, the earth would not be in the state that it is now. What does the fucking American flag say? In God we trust? Well, clearly either we don't trust it or something. This man was sitting there arguing with these people, and I'm not talking about, oh, control your kids. I'm talking about, yet my new bon sans ave maca cursing them the hell out like fuck y'all go back where y'all came from y'all some demons like literally calling them every name in the book talk about some my god is on my side i don't think god condones that understand we all worship in the same god even the voodoo practitioners that y'all all hate understand that if someone's out here and talk about some uh nigga <laughs> i'm gonna get you they gonna get you so shit really escalated when they started leaving their kids out and again they started getting out and one day the neighbor decided to call Dyfus. Munyo Alele Dyfus to Team Munyo. I didn't know Haitians do that. I never heard any Haitians call a Dyfus like that, but hey, they call Dyfus. The kids got taken away or something like that. I don't remember what happened. Something happened where the parents got in trouble, the kids got taken away. I don't remember what it was, but the parents got in trouble for leaving the kids by themselves. And of course, they pinpointed who the fuck went and, and, and snitched. That man that was talking all that shit and had God on his side was in the hospital for literally almost a year with unexplained conditions that no one was aware of. And you guys are probably thinking, oh, maybe he was sick, Ivana. Maybe he had underlying medical conditions. No. The thing is with voodoo, when someone sends something after you and is voodoo related, when someone like literally makes you sick through voodoo or sends you to the hospital through voodoo, you're going to have unexplained medical conditions. No one's going to be able to cure you. No one's going to be able to help you. Nothing. You're just going to be sick and I mean it sucks for you and you're gonna have to go to an organ or boca shit or a loi need to come touch you themselves to get you away from that it's the only way to save you see I don't think God condone you popping all that shit and calling Dyfus let's be real you shouldn't be leaving your kids unattended willy-nilly because that's ridiculous but I, in retrospect you shouldn't be sitting here calling people demons and talking all that shit like your shit don't stink and it's awesome God will protect me I mean I don't want to say where was God then but I'm very sure God said um you on your own with that because how dare you what the fuck you sitting out here talking shit to these people for like they won't snap your neck and they indeed did more than snap your neck this man had all types of inflammation he was looking crazy in the hospital like i'm talking about like 
unexplainable medical conditions like shit that like it wasn't even in the medical book okay and i don't i think he ended up dying like a couple of years later though but he due to the medical conditions in the hospital and that's the thing with haitian voodoo if you get sent to a hospital where they make you sick you're gonna suffer you're not just gonna die okay that's not another common misconception that a lot of people think oh when someone sends something after you you just die no, you suffer. That's too easy. Why the fuck would we just... Why am I going to waste my time and waste my soul and not have fun with it? No, they, they want to see you suffer. They're going to make you suffer. Um, They want to see you pay for what you did. And I guess in this case, I mean, there was a lot of things in between. Clearly, I was a kid, so I didn't know completely, like, all the shit. That That's just the surface level shit that, you know, my mom had to refresh my memory. They will make you suffer. That's how you know it's voodoo related and it's not no medical shit. Because if it's medical, they could tell you, oh, you have this, you have that, but that one day, they didn't know what was wrong with him. I ended up, and then later on, he ended up dying. So, you think that's the end of the story? No. So then eventually, um, they got into numerous other altercations with other people in the building, and then there was another situation with another woman in that building, and they ended up beating the shit out of the woman. Now, I think it was the husband and the wife. I don't remember who beat that lady, but long story short, the fucking cops was in the fucking building, y'all. And this was my first experience, and this is when I realized, okay, this voodoo shit is real. Like, it exists. And, um, wow. Haitians the truth, bro. Like, that, that, this right here was some shit. Got beat the fuck up. Of course, we already know we in the hood. Ain't no snitching. Ain't nobody saying what happened to the lady. The lady, I don't even think she could talk. Pity, unconscious. There's blood everywhere. Everyone's shocked. Everyone's baffled. Everyone's scared. But no one says anything because, like, what do, what do we want to say? Cops eventually figure it out. Um, I don't know if the lady ended up waking up. I think, like, she was in a coma. Like, she was child she was beat to death they didn't use voodoo for that one they used their hands they said the cops came to get these people why they turned themselves into chickens and walked smooth out the building you guys are probably thinking no they did ivana they turned themselves into chickens and they were nowhere to be found and to this day we still don't know where the fuck these people are this shit and mind you this is not the first time i've seen the burning chicken thing there's another story about the burning chicken thing and it's crazy because from what i understand we're not supposed to be able to see burning chickens but we saw them. I think I think I, I couldn't be the only one that saw it. Cause now I'm thinking, I'm like, shit, now I gotta go ask somebody else if they saw it. And my mom saw it. So okay, now I'm I'm like, wait. Cause the whole thing with the burning chickens, if you guys are not aware, burning chickens or burning animals in particular in Haitian voodoo usually are sent after someone. So if you see like a row of burning chickens, usually it's coming after you. Cause technically you're not supposed to be the one to see it. Like the person who is coming after is the only one that could see it. I've seen it twice. It was coming towards me, but I seen it twice. I've been with people that see this, so I don't know what's going on there. If someone could tell me, like, down below, I don't, I don't understand it. Because I'm like, how the fuck? But these people turn themselves into, like, animals, okay? So there was burning chickens. There was, like, I think they said that there was, like, a freaking, like, a, a pig of some sort. Let, let's just, for all intents and purposes, there was a zoo in the house. Animals in the house, bro. No human was in there. They escaped. Or maybe it was them. I'm sure it was them. I don't fucking know. That shit was crazy. That's when I was like, bro, niggas was terrified. Niggas was sick. I don't think they rented that apartment for like a year because you know Haitian people. Oh, you gonna rent that apartment? Well, well, gonna your body was like passing no, 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 I pop my side. You know Haitians. They, they, they didn't tell you what happened in that apartment, bro. I would not want to live in that apartment either. After knowing that people turn themselves into fucking burning chickens and pigs and shit just to flee the fact that they beat the fuck out of somebody and then landed somebody else in the hospital before that. The fuck? I ain't living there. I ain't even living in the building. The fuck? So people was shook after that. Niggas was scared. I think the building was quiet for like a week, maybe a day, because niggas still needed to make their money. Fuck, I talk about. It was bad. Okay, never saw those people again. Police ended up being scared and shook. I don't think, yo, I feel like a lot of the police officers that ended up coming to 471 and all the other surrounding buildings probably have stories for years. Not days, years. Okay, because the shit that they probably had to witness was probably like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I I'm very sure. And I remember like seeing the animals and I'm like, we have a pet zoo across the street because they used to have like these little pet zoo things like around the city and stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, we have a pet zoo. I'm like, wait, why is there animals in the building though? It was scary. They don't look like regular animals. Like you could tell, like they're, they're not supposed to necessarily be here. They not know those are animals. Yeah, it's very, very crazy. And um, now I know why my parents said I can't be in that house. <laughs> Oh, and I can't play with those kids. I don't know if the kids were ever returned to them. They probably were. Who knows? Probably not. Cause shit, they don't need no damn kids doing all this ghetto shit and 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 out here attacking people just because they don't like what they say and do. I feel like if you're gonna like send spells after people, it has to be something like monumental, like you're sacrificing your soul for the what. But at the same time, people who are doing Haitian voodoo.
mood for bad and sitting here sending spells after people already done fuck their life up and I think they're just like yolo fuck it at this point because like your soul's already condemned at that point they're just already fucked up so they're like it is what it is you guys are probably like damn Ivana wasn't you scared da 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 uh I was creeped out I wasn't necessarily scared I was just like yo how you do that I want to be a cat <laughs> That sounds so bad. But from what I understand, they were trying to say that they were Lugawus though. It makes sense though, because they were the Lugawus, they could definitely shape shift, but you could only do it at nighttime. I don't even remember what time of the day it was. It could have been nighttime though. I believe it could have been night, like evening. I don't think it was late night, but it could have been evening time because I was up and I was around. So, ciao, craziness, bro, the craziness. So with that being said, comment down below. Have you had a similar experience? Have you seen burning animals or just regular animals in regards to Haitian voodoo or any folk magic? Let me know what it means in your respective culture, religion, or lifestyle. Because I'd love to hear down below. And if anyone could provide some clarity as to how the fuck they did that, because that's one of a kind. Like I've only ever heard of that ever happening to send something after someone, not people turning themselves into that shit to evade police. Like I was so confused. I was like, wait, how the fuck? I was like, I want to know that spell. My mom was looking at me like, let me shut up. <laughs> Bro, people are fucking crazy, bro. People are really fucking crazy. With that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and do all that. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye!